हेलो स्टूडेंट्स माई सेल्फ मिस्टर ए एस मोहिते फ्रॉम डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स एंड टेलीकम्युनिकेशन के आई टीज कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग कोल्हापुर टूडे वी डिस्कस अनरेग्युलेटेड पावर सप्लाय एंड नीड ऑफ वोल्टेज रेग्युलेटर फॉर द कोर्स एनालॉग इलेक्ट्रॉनिक्स फ्रॉम यूनिट नंबर वन लिनियर पावर सप्लाय दीज आर द आउटलाइन्स ऑफ द कोर्स कंटेन्ट्स वाइज नीड ऑफ वोल्टेज रेग्युलेटर स्टैब्लाइजेशन फैक्टर एनालिस ऑफ शंट रेग्युलेटर यूजिंग जीनो डायोड एंड बीजेटी एमीटर फॉलो रेग्युलेटर सीरीज वोल्टेज रेग्युलेटर यूजिंग बीजेटी सीरीज वोल्टेज रेग्युलेटर विथ प्री रेग्युलेटर शॉर्ट सर्किट एंड ओवरलोड प्रोटेक्शन सर्किट्स थ्रू दिस कोर्स वी आर गोइंग टू सी सम इम्पॉर्टंट एस्पेक्ट्स ऑफ वोल्टेज रेग्युलेटर दीज आर द ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ द कोर्स इन विच विल सी वर्किंग ऑफ डिफरेंट इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट्स लाइक डायोड्स एंड एम्प्लीफायर्स यूजिंग बीजेटी विल सी वर्किंग ऑफ अ ट्रांजिस्टर एंड फील्ड इफेक्ट ट्रांजिस्टर एंड देर आर डिफरेंट कॉन्फिग्रेशन विल सी स्मॉल सिग्नल मॉडल एनालिसिस एंड देर परफॉर्मेंस एनालिसिस ऑफ बीजेटी एंड एफ ई टी विल इलेस्ट्रेट डिफरंट मेथड्स रिक्वायर्ड टू डिजाइन इलेक्ट्रॉनिक सर्किट सच एज एम्प्लीफायर्स बाय यूजिंग डिस्क्रीट कॉम्पोनट्स हियर इज द ब्लॉक डायग्राम ऑफ अनरेग्युलेटेड पॉवर सप्लाय दैट इंक्लूड्स ट्रांसफॉर्मर दैट इज यूज फॉर कन्वर्टिंग हायर वोल्टेज इन टू अ लोअर वोल्टेज fairly known as a step down transformer next block is the rectifier that converts ac into dc next filter circuit that minimize the ripple so uh, even though after using a filter uh, it is observed that some sort of ac contents is also present in the output of a unregulated power supply here is the brief working of a unregulated power supply the input to the transformer is a ac voltage normally it is ranging from uh, 230 volt 50 hertz and is applied to the primary of a step down transformer step down transformer converts this higher voltage that is 230 volt to a desired lower voltage for example 230 volt to 6 volt 230 volt to 9 volt and so on so by uh, choosing input voltage of a transformer and output voltage of a transformer uh, it is possible to decide turns ratio of a transformer output of a transformer which is a lower voltage after conversion which is ac in nature is applied to the rectifier circuits rectifier may be uh, full wave rectifier or bridge rectifier that converts ac into dc that is alternating voltage into direct voltage so after even though after converting ac voltage into dc by using a rectifier circuit output of a rectifier is not purely dc but it is pulsating dc and therefore it contains large number of ac components to minimize this ac components it is possible to use a filter circuit that greatly redu reduce the ac component which are contains at the output of a rectifier circuit so output of a rectifier circuit which is pulsating dc voltage is applied to the filter circuit that minimize ac content to a greatest level but still output of a 
filter contains some sort of a ripple so or some sort of ac components here is the reflection spot for you what are the ac contents present in the output of unregulated power supply known as so do pause the video and try to uh, explain the answer or try to mention the answer here it is ac contents present in the output of unregulated power supply known as ripples now so far we have seen that even after using a filter circuit it is not possible to remove entire portion of ac contents that is ripple still some sort of a ripple exist so the question is how to remove this ripple so that output of a power supply is purely dc so here is the answer it is possible to completely remove the ripple by the use of a voltage regulator so what is a voltage regulator voltage regulator is the circuit which keeps the output voltage constant under all the operating conditions so operating conditions may be even though input voltage applied to the power supply varies still the output remains constant even though load current varies still the output of a power supply should remain constant and even though variation in temperature still it is expected that voltage regulator should give constant output voltage so uh, normally some factors depending on, on which the output voltage affects these factors are input voltage load current and temperature here is the reflection spot you just uh, try to uh, give the answer by uh, pause the video how to remove ripples from output of a unregulated power supply so pause the video and try to give the answer so here it is ripples can be minimized or removed by the use of voltage regulator circuit so from this output of unregulated power supply it is observed that even though by using a rectifier and filter circuit it is not possible to completely remove the ac contents that is ripple so why there is a need of voltage regulator uh, in day to day life or in uh, domestic or industrial applications there are almost most of the applications where we required completely dc power supply or dc output voltage hence the factors affecting the output load voltage of a power supply must be regularized so that output should not vary or output should remain constant irrespective of change in input voltage change in load current and change in temperature so to accomplish this we required a, or we need a voltage regulator that's all about the lesson 1 in lesson 2 we will include factors affecting the load voltage and stabilization factor thank you very much